I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Richard Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 256. I'm going to show you how to build a 40-day calendar in Quantrix. As I've mentioned before, I think in the podcast, uh, I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints. I am a member of uh, our church's uh, leadership, and frequently we do activities with our congregation in order to get them engaged in our cause. And one of the things we've done is we've created a, we wanted to create a 40-day calendar where people could sign up uh, to perform a certain assignment in our local congregation here. And of course, there were those who thought, hey, we need to build out a calendar or we need to pass around some sort of calendar. But I thought, well, I think we ought to build the calendar in Quantrix. And I was able to do that uh, pretty quickly. And I wanted to show you how you could build, say, a random 40-day calendar within Quantrix and how you can have that calendar start on any day of the week and then go out 40 days and have it look like a, a real calendar. So what I'm going to start with is we're going to start with a blank model here. And we are simply going to put the weekdays across the top of this model, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through Friday. And then I'm going to call this week one here. And 40 days, you know, in theory, that's right, right around seven weeks, maybe six weeks, depending on what day you start of the weekday. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to call this week ID. And we are going to call this uh, week day of course and then I want to create another item and I'm just going to call it the index helper and I'm going to use the function for index helper is equal to the hashtag of weekday week ID and if I do that uh, we can see that my IDs are going actually down this way so I want to change the order of that and I want to do week ID first and then week day. And that's going to give me my indexes going across the top. Then I'm going to add another matrix that goes something like this. And what I'm going to put in here is I'm going to put like uh, start. I'm, it doesn't even be start date, but this first one is going to be start date. And let's say we want our 40 day calendar to begin on, say, 10. And not let's let's go like 915, okay, of 2018. And we're gonna call this date. And then the next days, for the next 40 days, we're just gonna increment by one. So we're going to say date is equal to uh, the date L category L previous, right? Plus one. So as I add items here, you can see that it certainly increments them. And I can add up to, you know, 40 or so items, I guess. And then what I want to do is I simply want to put in an index, although it's not required for the way I'm going to show you this, but just so you can see what's happening here. Uh, I'm going to index it. I'm going to change the format of this number to be that of a, a decimal number, if you will. And you can see that 915, 916, th those are in position 1, 2, 3, and I can go all the way down, and I actually have more than 40 days here, so I'm just going to delete those. Now what I want is I want to populate the date in here correctly. So with that, I'm going to go down here to my calendar, and I'm going to look up uh, the day that 9.15 starts, and that is on a Saturday, correct? So yeah, that's a Saturday, and that's when I said it was going to start. So on week one, uh, Saturday, is when I want it to start, so I want that to be day one. So I will go into the next formula, and I will uh, call this item that I added and rename date. I'm going to say that date is equal to the value at, and my list is this list of dates over here in matrix 5, and my index is the number that I want to return is actually the index helper here, minus six and the reason why i want to go minus six is because i want saturday to be day one uh, so that would make that 
6 minus 7, that would make that 1, which would return the 915. And then when I go to Sunday, if I minus 6, that would be date, that would be index 2, and therefore it would be 2 like this. Of course, I could do that maybe a little bit differently in adding the minus 6 up here to my, my index helper, if you will, as well. But we'll stick with it this way, and you can see I have my dates associated now here, 915 to 916, uh, all the way out to 1024. And then if I wanted to add a, you know, a family person who is signing up, I could say person. And then to kind of clean this up and make it look pretty, I'd maybe hide the index, of course, because people don't want to see uh, what the index helper is here. So I'm going to collapse this item and I'll view hide collapsed items. And then maybe I'll make the, the person sign up slot a little bit taller maybe make these a little bit wider, right? And what I've done now is, if I go ahead and I center the date here, I have now created kind of this 40-day sign-up ca calendar really uh, easily in Quantrix, and we could print this out and pass it out for people to sign up with. Anyway, I thought that was a, a great use case that I had come up with a couple Sundays ago in regards to Quantrix and how to build a sweet uh, a sweet calendar with it and if you have any questions about Quantrix of course I I do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com I absolutely love Quantrix I want to make you a Quantrix master and I do hope that you will join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master